Our story begins, and Ellie is late, as usual. And, as usual, Molly has to wake him up, and Ellie doesn't mind. That's all he's ever known. Molly is the only family he's got, and Molly takes care of him. So Ellie doesn't complain. Even if sometimes it feels as if Molly doesn't love him. Truth be told, for Ellie, the work is boring. But it must be his problem, because everyone else around him seems to love it. But then again, the people around him wouldn't stop to look at the beautiful sky or to savor the rich colors of the butterflies that are so unique in their world. But Ellie does. Ellie follows a creature that flies away and he envies it, for it has a mind of its own and it is free. And in that moment, for a second, Ellie feels what being free tastes like. And that's when he meets me. I show him my world. I show him my life. My sorrow. My happiness. My growth. I show him my love and my joy. I tell him stories and promises of a better world he doesn't know. And I do it because even though he looks at me as if he's afraid that even being near his world will ruin me, I'm afraid it will ruin him. I invite him into my world, but he hesitates. He tells me about the only family he's got and how he can't leave Molly behind. A tale of someone who looks out for him and cares for him. And yet, he seems unhappy. I ask him, were it the other way around, would she stay for him? Ellie doesn't answer. He tries, but to no avail. Why would she want to change? That's what she tells him, that they have a good life, that is deviant and childish. She calls him a fool, because only a fool would care about the skies and the butterflies. She's angry at him, but that's not new. She yells, but that's not new either. Ellie watches as she tries to tear apart the scarf I gave him, and he asks himself, what changed? I let him cry, he takes his time. It's his decision in the end. He hears the city clock and he realizes he's been there all morning. He missed half a day of work and somehow that feels liberating. Then he sees her. Did she come for him, even though she should be working? And then I see it, the work he missed. He looks at me and I can see he's hurting. He comes in my direction and I know he saw it too. And now we are standing in front of the forest. And even though I want to ask him if he's sure, I can see it in his face. He's terrified, but the clock tells him to go home. And for the first time in his life, he obeys. What is home? Is it the place Ellie grew in? Is it the place I grew in? Can someone be your home? If so, is Joy mine? Yes, but is Molly Ellie's? Did my parents find theirs in each other? Was Ellie at any time Molly's? How many homes can you have through the course of your life? What if yours is a place where you don't feel good, or safe, or wanted? What do you do when your home becomes toxic? The clock told Ellie it was time to go home. He didn't know where to go, but he knew Molly wasn't his home. Not anymore. <laughs>